Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be taking the end of the decade book tag. So this was created by Cat at Bruise and Reviews, fantastic channel. I was tagged by Cats and Camera, also a fantastic channel. Bit weird that they're both called Cat, but we'll go with it. I think they both own cats as well. So there we go. There are, I don't really know how to explain this, so we're just going to jump into the questions and we'll see how we do. So split the decade into three sections and answer the following questions for each section. So I will do each set first I guess so we're gonna start with 2010 to 2013 question one how much did you read a lot I've always read a lot probably not as much as I read now so probably I would say 100 to 150 books a year something like that um, yeah as I said I didn't read as much as I did now mainly because I don't know I was busy and had a social life I would have been a student up till 2011 yeah and then I started my first full-time job but I used to read on the bus to and from work and stuff. Question two, what genre did you read the most? At that time, it was probably um, a cross between like Bukowski and uh, beat poetry as well. And uh, a lot of the beats in general, so a lot of Jack Kerouac, some of his more obscure stuff like The Town and the City, which is his first novel, which was like meant to be his attempt at the, the great American novel, you know? Uh, Ginsburg, I read Neil Cassidy as well. Um, yeah, a bit of Burroughs. And also the kind of the books that I got into at uni, so I was probably reading the Sherlock Holmes books for the first time as well. Question number three, what were your favourite books and authors? Probably from this period, Allen Ginsberg would be up there. Graham Greene as well, because Graham Greene's been my favourite for quite a while. Probably towards the earlier part of that 2010 period, because again, I kind of read most of his books and started to run out of ones to go for. Uh, my favourite book of the time probably still is what it is now, which is Northern Lights by Philip Pullman. Question number four, is there a book you wish you'd read during this time period? The Handmaid's Tale. Um, yeah, mainly The Handmaid's Tale. Maybe what I talk about when I talk about running by Haruki Murakami as well. Um, just because I think both of those have had quite a big impact on me recently. And so I just wonder what would have happened if I'd discovered them earlier. Question number five, do you have any regrets about your reading during this time period? I don't have any regrets about my reading. I have regrets about my writing, because again, while I was at university, I could have been starting a career as a freelance writer. The only thing is, is like the sites that I use now and that I rely on to get my business didn't exist back then. And also I was only really able to go freelance because I had that experience, you know? So um, yeah, I don't know if there's much I'd change. I mean, those years were kind of formative years for me because I would have been, 2010, I would have, that was the year I turned 21. So we're talking 21 to 24. And uh, yeah, I just, again, just coming out of uni. So university had introduced me to a lot of new authors and I was kind of following up with the ones that I discovered that I was interested in, you know? Like another one from that period would be Matsuo Basho. So moving on to 2014 to 2016. So at that period in my life, I was what? 25 to 27 so this was really pretty much at the point at which I moved to my second job at FST so my first job was very much an entry-level marketing job second job was a little bit more senior not that much more senior I never got promotion the entire time I was there but there wasn't really anywhere to promote me to to be fair I mean also they didn't really listen to me so I was like making suggestions on how we could grow the digital marketing and social media marketing and online content team and nobody listened to me and so they kind of missed the ball on that one. But uh, yeah, because of that, I guess, well, we'll go into question number one. How much did you read? Probably a little bit more. So there I was probably 150 to 200, maybe a bit over 200 books. And uh, this was also when I first really got active on Goodreads. Uh, my book blog was up and running by then as well. So I'd started read, uh, reviewing every book that I read. So, I mean, actually, I can probably go back. Let's have a look. Okay, so 2014, 163 books. 2015, 217 books. 2016, 391 books. So there we have it. And actually, yeah, 2013 was the first year I was active, so it says 20, but that's not true. That's just the 20 books I read towards the end of the year. Question number two, what genre did you read the most? Ooh, probably, uh, probably non-fiction stuff to do with marketing and personal development because again, I was starting to take my career a little bit seriously. I was getting sent a lot of those kind of books for review as well. Um, other than that, maybe modern classics. Question number three, what were your favorite books and authors? So this definitely was probably my Bukowski period. Um, I'm trying to think who else I really read. Actually a lot of Agatha Christie as well. And, um, 
Yeah, probably those were probably my two most read authors in that period. Because again, a lot of my other favourites. Stephen King, actually, because I got into Stephen King quite late, so that was when I really got into him. Uh, because with King, I read the, uh, the Shining and didn't really like it. So it was a while before I gave him another chance. And I think it was like Doom a Key, I think I got second and really liked it. So that, and then, you know, I never looked back. And question four. Is there a book you'd wish you'd read during this time period? I mean, the same ones as before, really. Yeah, I think those are the main ones that I wish I'd read earlier. Maybe High Rise by J.G. Ballard as well. Uh, that would have been a good one to have read a little bit earlier. Again, I would have had to have read it after Handmaid's Tale, I think, as well. So, um, yeah, that would be a good one for that period. Question five. Do you have any regrets about your reading during this time period? No, I was doing pretty well because I used to read on the way to work, on the bus to and from work every day. And then I used to read on my lunch break as well. Um, the only re Actually, I do have regrets because I regret reading so many of those non-fiction books because none of them were particularly useful. It was a lot of people telling me stuff I already knew, you know? And then, uh, 2017 to 2019, question one, how much did you read? So in 2017, 254 books, 2018, 283 books, 2019, 401 books. Question number two, what genre did you read the most? Again, I'm going to have to probably give the answer of like modern classics, maybe. Um, again, it also depends whether you lump Agatha Christie into that, because I probably read a lot of Christie in those period, in that period. Uh, a lot of horror, I guess, as well, because my first book, No Rest for the Wicked, that was picked up in 2015, and I met a lot of indie horror authors and got some great suggestions there, I guess, as well. Question number three, what were your favourite books and authors? Well, my favourite book of last year was The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. My favourite book of this year, I think, is probably Stoner by John Williams. I wouldn't know what the, the one for the year before was, I'm afraid. And the favourite authors, again, Stephen King, um... I guess he's probably the one who jumps out because I read more of him during this time, I guess. I don't know. It all blends together. It's really hard. <laughs> Question number four. Is there a book you wish you'd read during this time period? Everything on my TBR, basically. Um, I don't know. Again, like I'm kind of getting to the dregs of my TBR as well. So there's nothing I really, really desperately want to get to before the end of the year. Maybe a few of the classics, like Moby Dick and things like that. Because that, I want to have read them. I've also been talking to my other half. I want to read some religious books. I want to read the Bible, the Quran, and the Torah. I've actually read a fair amount of Buddhist text as well. But I'd like to read some of that too. And uh, yeah. Question number five. Do you have any regrets about your reading during this time period? Mainly, I guess, there were a few books that I picked up just because of booktube hype and then didn't enjoy them. And then now as well, I get like really horrible comments from people being like, uh, you're wrong. And it's like, I, I, it, it's subjective, mate. Sorry. <laughs> okay, when you've answered the above questions for every section, there are two more general questions. Number one, when did you find booktube slash did it change your reading habits? I found booktube in about 2013, 2014. Uh, but then I didn't start creating content until about 2017, so I was a bit late to the party. I used to just watch it while I was at work. I used to watch, um, well, I still do. I watch YouTube while I'm working. And so, yeah, I, I just slowly found booktube channels. But I didn't really get that engaged into the community until after I started, you know. Uh, did it change my reading habits? It didn't when I used to watch it. I mainly watched it just, I guess, to know what was happening in the publishing industry, you know. Um, but then once I started, I felt this pressure that I think a lot of people feel to read the books that are popular. And so, yeah, it did change my habits there a little bit. And also there are some books that I know I've picked up because of BookTube. Um, the Handmaid's Tale being one of them, actually, although also the TV adaptation helped. Question number two, how do you think your reading has changed over the last decade? Well, I read more now than I used to, but I think part of that is because now I'm self-employed, so I can as well. Yeah, other than that, I've just slowly evolved, you know, I found more and more authors that I want to read all of their stuff. And so there's a lot of authors I was reading in 2010 who I'm still slowly working my way through all of their books. Like Alan Ginsberg, for example, I still haven't read all of his stuff. Um, so it just meant that I've had new authors. So like uh, Margaret Atwood is a great example of a new author that I discovered because of BookTube. And um, yeah, now I want to read all of her stuff. But again, it'll be a slow but sure thing throughout my life. So yeah, it's just adding volume to the... The wish list, I guess. So those are all of the questions. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tag some people. So I'm going to do what I normally do. I'm going to go into my channel comments, see who has commented recently, and I'm going to tag some of them. 
So I'm going to tag Old Blues chapter and verse, totally pretentious. Both of them recently commented on my deathbed tag. Written in Blood, Alex Black reads, Jason's Weird reads, Ikra reads, Nikki, I read past my bedtime. Uh, I'm going to tag Missy at Binge Reader in case she's watching just because I've been thinking about her because she was one of the first channels I watched in BookTube, like again in 2012, 2013 or something. Uh, Bookish, Brad Proctor. I'm going to tag Savvy from Savvy Writes Books. I don't know if she does tags as well, but I'd love to see her take on it. And one more. One book, one review, Vitka. She'd be a great one because she's another one of those channels I've been watching for years as well. So there we have it. That's what I made of the end of the decade tag. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you thought of my answers. Hit subscribe for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.